Hey everyone, this is part one of what to expect when buying your first home. Now, before I get started, just keep in mind that these videos are going to be long um, and I'm going to try my best to not let it be boring. So you've decided you want to buy a home. Where do you start? Now, as a realtor, I recommend uh, you ask yourself the question, am I ready? Um, there's several things that you need to consider before even starting the home buying process. Two things you should be asking yourself is, what does my credit look like? And do I have enough money to get to closing? You're going to want to make sure that you have decent credit because your credit score determines uh, what your interest rate is going to be. And your interest rate then determines how large your monthly payments are going to be. Second is how much money do I have saved up and how much money is it going to take to get to closing? How much money you're going to need is going to be determined by these things. You're going to need your earnest money, which is usually 1% of the purchase price. You're going to need your option money. I will tell you what that is later. You are going to need um, closing costs uh, that's filled up with a bunch of different things, including escrow money. Um, you are going to need money for a home inspection and an appraisal. I will get into those deeper in the next few sections. Next question you should be asking yourself is, do you qualify for any first time home buyer programs? There is programs out there for each state. So all you have to do is Google first time home buyer and your state. Next, you're gonna wanna shop around for your mortgage company and see which one is the best fit for you. Um, and once you have picked a mortgage company, I would go ahead and talk to a loan officer. They're gonna be able to answer a lot of your questions about how much money you're gonna need to um, go to closing and they're going to be able to tell you how much house you are qualified for. Once you talk to a loan officer, they're going to give you your pre-approval amount and your pre-qualification amount. You're going to want to take your pre-approval letter to your realtor. This is going to be able to tell them how much house you are able to purchase. Once you've done that, you get to do the fun part of telling your realtor what you want in a home um, from the size of the house to how many bedrooms um, how many bathrooms do you want a pool this is the information you're going to discuss with your realtor so that way they can start looking for your perfect house and if not your perfect house you're close to perfect house stay tuned for part two